Okay, okay, let's calm down just a little bit. It's crazy out there. I know everybody's panicking right now in the middle of this annual enrollment period, thinking we gotta do everything right now. Well, I'm here to shed some light on that for you. Why don't you grab a cup of your favorite latte or your hot tea. Let's just settle down for a minute and let's go over the truth about what you have to do right now and what you probably shouldn't do right now as it pertains to your Medicare. Let's see what the rest of the country is talking about and we'll put it in perspective for you with some free unbiased advice on how you can calm everything down and make the best decision. In case we haven't met yet, let me introduce myself. My name is Christopher Westfall. I'm a licensed insurance broker. I work in over 46 states and I'm unbiased when it comes to Medicare. I've been lauded in many different media circles for being an unbiased person that absolutely helps my clients with free, unfiltered advice. And sometimes it's the lack of a filter that gets me in trouble. But I just like telling the truth. I don't care which plan you go with. I just don't want you to be pushed by fear and given a sales pitch and the people that we work with in our office, they know we don't give a sales pitch or push anybody to do anything. But there's a lot of fear prevalent in the market right now. Some of it comes about by salespeople and I just wanna break down for you what you have to do and what you don't have to do. And first of all, it's very important that we all take a big deep breath because our phones are just blown up with everybody that's ever been on Medicare, it seems like this week. Thousands of people literally blowing up our phones and we're trying to you know, space things out because we have 51 more days of the annual enrollment period, but there's so many people that literally don't have to do a thing. And that's what I wanna cover right now. Those people who don't have to do anything, just to put it in perspective for you again. And if you hear of your friends or family or somebody else freaking out about the time deadline and everyone seems to think that they have to do it the first week of the annual enrollment period to do something, um, and if we've not called you back yet, we do have it on the list to call you back. I assure you, everybody that sent us an email, visited the website, called into the office, we're calling people back based on triage. That is the people that have to do something right now and the people that don't have to do something right now. And we are calling everybody back. So let's go over who does have to do something and who does not. The annual election period is for one reason, and that is Medicare Advantage plans the private plans that are HMO, PPO, MSA, PFFS, the plans that are given a contract by the government to a private entity to manage your health care and try to save money for the government. Those plans don't ask any health questions, none whatsoever. You can get on those plans once a year, any, any year that you want to. Because they don't ask health questions and they don't have pre-existing conditions, they, Congress in their infinite wisdom has set aside a finite period of time every year that you can join those plans. That is to limit what they call adverse selection. They don't want someone going without a plan, getting some big illness, and then saying, you know what, I need to join that plan. So to disincentivize adverse selection, that's a fancy way of saying they don't want the sick people already, that you have to sign up for these plans one time per year. Once you get on the plan, you're treated like everybody else. Typical plan, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, the, fa the vast majority of people on Medicare Advantage, they're on a Medicare HMO, and that means a health maintenance organization. They're gonna manage you and your costs. So that said, it's a trade-off. Medicare supplements, on the other hand, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, you have to qualify based on reasonably decent health. You cannot have had a heart attack, stroke, cancer, hospitalization, manage some chronic disease for, for the most part outside of your initial election period. That's the, the period of time six months after you're brand new to Part B. Six months after brand, being brand new to Part B, within that six months, you're in your initial election period. The world is your oyster. That's the true open enrollment period for you. And you can get a Medicare supplement with no questions asked. That's a great time. But if you've fallen outside that period of time, you have to go through health underwriting. Now, follow my train of logic here just for a second. If there is one type of plan available for absolutely anybody with no health qualification, they'll take anybody and manage your care to keep your costs low on behalf of the government. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. This is the, the plan that's free in many cases. Doesn't cost you any premium. These plans will take anybody. And then you have the plans that are the Medicare supplement plans with no restrictions, no maintaining your cost on a low basis, and they have a restriction. You can only get this plan 
when you're brand new to Medicare, that's usually young 65, or you qualify by good health, which do you think is going to give you the better choices, the better health care? Obviously, the one that you have to strive a little bit harder to get is going to be the one with the quality health care. I've had thousands of comments over the last two weeks from people, and I've stayed up late at night, much to my wife's chagrin, I think is the word. She didn't like it very much. Replying back to people, and they'll say, well, you don't know my situation. I make 900 a month in Social Security or 1200 a month in Social Security, and I can't afford a Medicare supplement. That's fine. We help those people, too. Not everybody can get the Medicare supplement. I understand that. But for my mom, for instance, I make sure that she has one because I know that that's the best route to take. It's the lesser of two evils. And the lesser of two evils means one of them is going to cost you something anyway. If you can afford the best one, go for the best one. If you can't for whatever reason, and that's just not in the cards for you, then the best thing we can do is try to help you and mitigate that by getting the least less bad plan. That's a triple negative. All right, so during the annual enrollment period, this, this finite time of the year, if you want to switch a Medicare Advantage plan to start January on a different company, this is the time to do it. You don't have to do it during the ten, first 10 days of AEP. You really don't. So we have this spike every year. October 15th, we could not even breathe in here. And then it, it just starts to taper down. And in November, it's like, hey, where'd everybody go? And then end of November, first part of December, everybody's clamoring in the doors at the last minute again. So if we could kind of space this out, it'd be great. But again, this is for Medicare Advantage. Now, under the umbrella of Medicare Advantage is also the Part D, the drug plan. They're in the same house together. It's the little baby brother of the Medicare Advantage plan. As a matter of fact, for the majority of people who are on Medicare Advantage plans, they are packaged with a Part D drug plan. That's why they call it MAPD for short. Medicare Advantage, Part D, MAPD, they're put together. The problem with that is, in many cases, you can't pick which Part D is a part of it. It's just pulled off the shelf and just stuck to a generic plan. And so many times we find people are paying a lot of money for their drugs because they didn't get a Part D plan that's tailored for them. There are about 50 Part D drug plans across the country. I don't know how many are in your particular county. It is county specific. But what we like to do when we have someone in the Medicare supplement and we only do Part D drug plan consultation for our clients. So if they're our client, they have a Medicare supplement, we look at the Part D and match it the best we can to the existing drug scenario that they already have. We get exactly what their drugs are, match that to all the companies and say, this is the best match for you. How do we measure that? Based on the lowest out-of-pocket cost for the year. It's a simple calculation. What is the lowest out-of-pocket cost per year? The wrong metric is just the monthly premium price. You can have the lowest monthly premium price, which typically means it's the less substantive plan out there. It's not going to cover a plethora of every expensive tier four and tier five drug to the best that it could. If you are a frequent flyer, that is somebody who goes to the doctor a lot, managing a lot of conditions and you have lots of drugs, the cheapest monthly premium is not going to be the best thing for you. I can tell you that right off the bat. So we like to match the Part D drug plan with the Medicare supplement so that you have a custom plan as close as it can be custom for you. With the Medicare Advantage plan, typically that just can't happen because it's already a packaged thing off the shelf. So Medicare Advantage and Part D, that's the time of the year for this right now. For the people who are on Medicare supplement, there's nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do. Now we're gonna go over we're going to look at the market here in just a second because this is the first week of AEP as I record this. And all of my friends in the insurance industry are, to the best they can, just storming the news sets, apparently, of all these television stations. And a lot of the captive agents that work for one carrier are on there sponsoring the news. How do you get to sponsor the news? I don't know. What does it cost for a health plan to be able to pay for you to go on the news and pretend that you're doing an advertisement, but it's a editorial. It's like an advertorial. You're paying to be on the news. So I'm going to show you those in just a second. And you might be as blown away as I am with how they're able to get away with this stuff, pushing their, their health plans. We'll call it that. But again, Medicare supplement, there is nothing at all that you have to do. First of all, it's a contract. No one is going to take your Medicare supplement plan away from you. 
It is an ironclad contract that does not change every year. You don't have to do anything. What we do for our existing clients, we've got a message going out this week, is we want to review your plan when you get your next rate increase. So if you're in February 1 renewal date for your plan, about 45 days prior to your renewal, you're going to get a letter in the mail saying this is what your rate's going to be for the next year. Then we want to renew it. We want to shop the market for you. We want to see if that company's been behaving themselves or not. We are people who, with our recommendation here, we have no loyalty. I'm sorry to say this for the carriers that are watching, and I know that they do because they tell me. We have no loyalty to the carrier when it comes to what they're going to do to our client. Our loyalty is to our client to pursue, not the carrier. So if we've got brand A that gives our client a 20% rate increase, we will feel that that's unjustified and we will shop the market and make the recommendation that if their health allows it and we can move, that we move. We've got an entire team that does nothing but that care for our people and try to move them to a better plan, again, if their health will allow it. So that's why I think it's uh, advantageous to move when you can because you never know when that game of musical chairs will stop and you're stuck on a plan but you can always rest assured this your medicare supplement's not going to go away even plan f as we'll see here with one of the gentlemen on television i think it's san diego goes on tv and tells everybody plan f is going away you can get in serious trouble with the department of insurance for making a lie like that especially in public because plan f is not going away if you have plan f you can keep it you're going to be paying too much. You already are right now. But you can keep Plan F forever if you want to. Just like if you had the discontinued Plan J. No, you can't buy it today, but if you had it, you can keep it. It's an ironclad contract. So my point is this. If you're on a Medicare supplement, don't panic. There's nothing you have to do right now. This is not the period for you to call your agent and say, it's Medicare season. I saw a commercial. I need to do something right now. Right now, right now, October 15th. I need to do something right now. No, you don't. Not on a Medicare supplement at all. On a Medicare supplement, as I mentioned, your benefits will never change. Even if you have a plan that can't be sold to anybody new to Medicare, like Plan F and Plan C, you can keep what you want if you wanted to. You're reading ahead, aren't you? No network on a Medicare supplement, ever. The network can't change. The doctors can't change. The formulary can't change because it doesn't cover drugs. That's your Part D plan that goes with the supplement. Any hospital, any doctor. I'm trying to get permission today from some people that I spoke with this week who called to tell me that my videos hit home with them so hard because they were on a Medicare Advantage plan. They couldn't get the surgery. They couldn't get the treatment. They couldn't get this and that and the other thing. And it was such a frustration with their pre-authorization nonsense. One gentleman was just trying to get a dead gum shot of cortisone and couldn't get that. Couldn't get the authorization. So that means pain instead. Anyway, there's none of that with Medicare supplement. There's no pre-authorization needed. There's no referral to a specialist needed. If you want to get a second opinion, go get a second opinion. You literally call them up and say, do you take Medicare? Boom. That's it. That's all there is to it. And there's nothing to do during AEP. So just the last thing to remind you. We've got a long time during AEP. It is a seven week period. I think that's right. It's a long period of time. We have until December 7th to lock in what we're gonna do for January on the Part D drug plan, or if you've chosen a Medicare Advantage plan. Here's another question we get quite frequently. What if I signed up for a Medicare plan? Can I change my mind? Yes, you can. You can change your mind as many times as you want during AEP. Whatever's the last application submitted is the one that goes in for January 1st. So you could literally submit an application December 7th. I don't suggest it. That's my birthday. That's Pearl Harbor Day. That's the day that we will be having an end of AEP party with my office to celebrate the end of AEP. Really, it's my birthday. So we're going to celebrate kind of both. Anyway, I want to take a minute here and ask you this question. Where do you get your news from on Medicare? Where do you get your education from? If you're out there actively searching for information, in comparing what you're getting. Are you getting a sales pitch? Are you getting it from somebody who works for just one organization? That should be a major red flag. If somebody has sponsored by, and it's one company after their name, that's what we call a clue. That's detective work. Do they only show you Medicare Advantage plans? When they're talking about the season, do they only talk about Medicare Advantage plans? Hello, something to do with incentive there, but that's something that should just raise your skepticism level just a little bit. 
And do they give you FOMO? What is FOMO? FOMO is the fear of missing out. That's when you push somebody in the sales world to say there's an artificial deadline. Or in the case of AEP, there's a deadline coming up real quick. You better act now. Act now or forever lose your opportunity. If you're getting the fear of missing out, that is not something that's healthy. That is not something that someone that's got your best interest in mind is going to give you that fear of missing out. It's just not healthy at all. So what I'd like to do now is show you a couple of things that, that came in the news this week, people that are out there pushing their plans. And let's see if you can tell which ones are the people giving you FOMO, which ones are giving you real advice, and which ones are actually just purporting to push Medicare Advantage through their captive company. Let's take a look, shall we? Here's our first contestant. Let's see what they've got to say. Medicare open enrollment begins today, and it is important to understand what plan is best for you and your situation. And here to give us more information is the president of your insurance agency, Chris Carruthers, and president of P3 Medical Group, Dr. Tracy Wakefield. Welcome. Thank you guys for being here today. Now, Chris, can you tell us what is Medicare Advantage and why should people look into it? Uh, Medicare Advantage is a, a form of a Medicare plan for people that are on Medicare, usually age 65 or older. And it's a plan that actually gives you a lot of choices, a lot of extra benefits. A lot of uh, that choices. come with your insurance from, from health uh, gym memberships to dental, vision, hearing. Uh, Sounds great. It comes with all your medical care that you would ever need to wow. have, consider being covered. That's nice. It, it, it does have those little extras in it. And a lot of people aren't it's aware great. of that. It's great. Dr. Wakefield, are you able to... Select a primary care provider. Oh, absolutely. No, you have to. To get the right primary care provider. So it's a good time of the year that if you haven't been happy with your primary care provider from the past, good time to reevaluate who you want to start seeing. Better you pick know, one. Are you able to get in when you're sick? Are they addressing all your needs? So, yeah, oftentimes because your primary care provider will be aligned with certain plans. If you pick your primary care provider, you want to make sure you're signing up with a plan that they take so that you can continue to Get see better. them. How do you suggest someone find someone that's a good fit for them? You know what? It, it, unfortunately, in a today, you have to go in and you kind of meet them. And you know, usually, if they are paying attention to your needs, are they outreaching to you to keep you well? Can you get in when you're sick? Oftentimes, we know a lot of patients have kind of scheduled regular. Can you see the sponsored by part? Sponsored by... Yeah, detective work, we call that a clue. Oh my goodness. Everything that comes out of their mouth after that is suspect. And the fact they're in Las Vegas now is to borrow the credibility of the news organization? Come on. Welcome back to AM Buffalo. Understanding the Medicare maze is easier said than done. And yesterday, it came up quick. The annual enro open enrollment period began. Now joining us this morning is Heather Smith from Univera Healthcare. She's here to help us navigate hey, Heather. all of this craziness, which it can be, yeah. but it doesn't have to be, right? Good morning, Heather. Good morning. How are you today? I am good. Yesterday was a busy day, yeah. so if you could just give us a go-to guide for Medicare and what we should know about the open what enrollment period. What should we period. know? Sure. So um, it started yesterday. We can officially take new applications. And so if somebody's looking to change their plan or they're really just looking to find out information about, hey, what else is out there? What are the options you have? What is Univera offering? Um, what are some of the benefits? Wait, what? what? Extra things? So Medicare allows for some, we wanna, some basic We all want to find out what, what? what else is out there. What are the options you have? What is Univera offering? That's what everybody in the country wants to know. They want to find out what is Univera offering. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad she's here to sponsor this program to tell us about their Medicare Advantage plan. Here, what are the services that you're using and what are the expenses that you have? We look at all the co-pays. We compare the apples to apples and see. You can't compare apples to apples when you're looking at a Medicare Advantage plan and you're looking at original Medicare supplement. There's no apples to apples. They're in a different, completely different league. It's just, it sounds great though. We're going to compare the apples to apples. You just, is not true and you're only working for one company and one plan and one type of benefit vaccine mm -hmm. which is a vaccine for shingles is huge so when you don't have a copay for that and that's a two-shot um, vaccine that's really really a cost savings for right. people right right now if you are a go-getter and you are yeah. out there in the community and you want to learn more are you offering any tools for example anything i can sell that for you workers can come out to before we wrap up absolutely so the seminars will go over the ABCs of Medicare as well as all the plans and the benefits that you are interested in. You Come to a seminar. That's what I want to do. to univeraformedicare.com or by calling 1-800-259-0916. There you go. 
Heather, thank you so much for all the Thank you so much. We got it. Let's see if this one was sponsored. Good morning, everybody. It is nine minutes past eight o'clock right now. Welcome back to the program. Company logos. With you right now. This, this lady, though, is, is really, really good. I like her. Of the year, Michelle. It is. When it comes to senior and health care. And to tell us more about that, we have Katie Bonner here with United Healthcare joining us. Uh, thank you for joining us. This Katie is actually very sharp. She tells the truth here, and I like it a lot. Um, now, Katie actually works in the de department that does dual eligible plans only. That's people that are on Medicare and Medicaid at the same time, the low income state run benefit program. These kind of Medicare Advantage plans are very benefit rich and they do help a lot of people in the community, but you have to qualify for both Medicaid and Medicare. But she nails it here in a couple of parts. Morning. Yes. So yesterday they were waving the green flag. It is go time, isn't it? Yes, as far as the Grand Prix of Medicare goes, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and our um, members or anyone that is Medicare eligible has 53 days starting October 15th every year through December 7th. So they have 52 now. They're already enrolled right now. Great question. They will be um, automatically, you know, re-enrolled in that plan. In the current plan they have right Yes. Now. And, you know, that may set them up for some surprises unexpectedly next year if they do have something that changes or maybe one of their we providers that. goes out of network. So you really have to look at it. Uh, each individual important. portion of uh, your enrollment process, so don't you? Yes, it's really important. I mean, just like when you're planning for your finances, you're planning for retirement, healthcare is part of that wellness, that whole package. And it's so critical to really spend time investing and making sure you're making the right decisions for your health care, for your well being. And that whole process of just looking over all of the different plans and what is available, it can be very overwhelming for people. Yes. So, what advice do you have to kind of make that, uh, you know, an easier process and how to decide? for what is what is the best plan it definitely can be overwhelming I mean I know even for for us in the in the working field we have you know a few weeks usually our health plans those things can change year to year prescriptions can be on a health plan one year and not the next so it's very important to look at those two things because those will have a direct impact to your budget there really is no one plan fits all Type deal, is there? There isn't. No, no there isn't. That would solve a lot of problems if you guys figured that one out. Yeah. That would. There really is no one size fits all for anything. Uh, so I think it's great that Katie talked about doctors can leave the network and plans can no longer cover certain drugs. So you really have to look at that. So it's important for us on the PDP side, the Part D drug plan side, absolutely to look at the uh, Part D drug plans and what may have changed. We've heard this week from a lot of people that were on the Humana Walmart plan, for instance, they were paying like $15.60, $15 a month. Now they're being told it's $56 or $61. Got to look at those things carefully. Let's look at another one here. This is a um, elder law attorney, and there's some good stuff you're here. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax. If you are on Medicare or if you're eligible for Medicare, it's the beginning of open enrollment. All right, let me on skip Medicare. ahead. Here a little what bit. does that mean? Care Advantage plans, which anybody who takes Medicare will take that supplemental plan. Oh, wait, um, here that we type go. of plan, there is really uh, no specific network you can go to. And We're you talking about the supplemental plan to go along with that. Um, that type of plan, there is really uh, no specific network you can go to. Anybody who takes Medicare will take that supplemental plan. Hey, where have you heard There's that before? There's also the Medicare Advantage plans, which are through the traditional insurance companies. So you're not really getting that Medicare Part A. You're getting a, a regular insurance policy. See, a lot of people uh, say something about that in the, in the comments. And some agents will write back that, hey, my AHIP training said that you can't tell people that they're not participating in Part A and Part B of Medicare because you've got to continue to pay for Part B of Medicare even when you're on a Medicare Advantage plan. That's absolutely true. You're paying for it, but you're not getting it. Because on Part B of Medicare, that says you can go to anywhere, any doctor, any hospital. This attorney here clearly says it. She must not have gotten the memo, the sales memo. When you're on a Medicare Advantage plan, you're opting out of A and B. At least for a one-year contract, you can't utilize the service of A and B. They tell you either put your Medicare card away because it's no longer valid or put it in your safe. They used to tell them to cut it up back in the early 2000s. Go cut up your red, white, and blue card because you've got your new you know, Medicare HMO card. She clearly lays it out here, which is absolute fact. You can't use your A and B when you're on an Advantage plan. Through the traditional insurance companies, so you're not really getting that Medicare Part A. You're getting a, 
a regular insurance policy that's your Medicare, either HMO or PPO, and that's going to have uh, the network. So you can only go to specific doctors, hospitals, things like that. Imagine that. She's not sponsored, people. She told the truth. Let's see another one here. Morning this is blend. A blend extra. Well, Medicare's open enrollment runs through December 7th. This is an opportunity for people on Medicare to shop around and save some money. Tom Qualley is the CEO and president of Sovereign Select, and he's here to help you find the right plan to meet your own specific needs. Good to see you, Tom. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, this looks yeah, legit. So this is a big deal. We're in it. We're in open enrollment. It runs through December 7th. People need to start checking what they need to know now. What should people on Medicare know about yeah. this time? So this is the time for people to be proactive when they're on Medicare. This is the time. It's a free for all. Doesn't say it's sponsored. Is it sponsored? Is it? Should we listen to this guy? Is he paying to get in front of you? different Medicare Advantage plans, oh. Part D prescription drug plans to see if they'd like to enroll into a plan. Never mention supplement. A plan that might be more suitable for their situation. Oh, look at that. What does that say? This you may be directed to an insurance agent. Sovereign does not represent Medicare or any other government agency. I wonder if they're selling your information. You may be directed. A lot of times if you see an advertisement on the internet, it'll say that your information may go to an insurance agent or many. And then they resell your name over and over and over and over and over. They resell it. Let me skip ahead here and see if we can learn any more about if this should be considered a legitimate source or not. Teach everyone what they need to know is an overview. Yeah. You don't sell specific plans. Correct. So these, these are educational meetings only. They're the last Friday of every month. And oh, what does that say? Sponsored by. He's trying to sell you on coming to a seminar. Dang it. I don't thought this guy was going to be... Legit. when they can change their plans how you know how they're able to adjust their benefits so really it's empowering people to be only medicare advantage we might sell your information and this is a sponsored newscast it's not even real let's talk about uh let's show one agent see if he's telling the truth about plans or any any fear here today and here to tell us all about it and what we have to do is, as it relates to medicare and health insurance as a health insurance expert greg gusson hey uh Welcome. Welcome, welcome back to KUSI. Uh, th this comes on the heels. 24 hours ago, we were talking covered Cali California. Cover California, and I thought that was a kind of you know the this rosy pie in the sky projections about everyone buying in. Yeah. Uh, let's skip it here. Cost you nothing per month. You pay. I think it's 10 or 20 dollars for copay visits. Oh, we're talking about Medicare Advantage. Costs you nothing per month. Um, if you're hospitalized, a couple hundred dollars. But it's a great way to get coverage. Really not real expensive. Um, or you can go with other plants, the Hazard Scripts Network and other networks. Or you can go with a Medicare supplement. You call up the doctor's office, do you take Medicare? Yes, you can go see them. Plan F was the most popular plan because it covers everything. You pretty much aren't going to pay any money out of pocket except for prescriptions. That goes away January 1st. <sighs> no, Plan F does not go away January 1st. Anybody that has... Plan F gets to keep Plan F. New to Medicare after January 1st, 2020, can't buy Plan F. Anybody Medicare eligible or 65 plus before it can always buy it. So if you are if you have Medicare right now, prior to January 1, 2020, and you're Medicare eligible, and you want to buy Plan F 10 years from now, guess what? You can still buy it. So this is not only a half-truth, but it's got some FOMO in there because... You better buy it right now before it goes away. There are a lot of agents in California actually telling people that. You better buy it while you still can because it's going to go away. I mean, where do you get off saying this kind of stuff, which is clearly wrong? It covers everything. You pretty much aren't going to pay any money out of pocket except for prescriptions. That goes away January 1st. No more. So they're coming out with Plan G. They're coming out with Plan G. No, actually, they came out with Plan G about 20 years ago. And then it changed again in 2010 to have parity with Plan F on, from 80% to 100% of excess charges Plan G had starting in 2010. It's not new. It's been around for two decades, if not longer. Plan G, they're coming out with it. Oh, boy, where do you get your they, news from? You pretty much aren't going to pay any money out of pocket except for prescriptions. That goes away January 1st. No more. So they're coming out with Plan G, which is the same as Plan F, but you have a part... B 
deductible of $183. No, so, it's not $183. So, so the original idea was a little too expensive to run, so now they had to They run. did that. Yeah, all right. So in case you don't believe me, go to a thing called Google.com and type in, what is the Part B deductible for 2019? It wasn't 183. It's been 185 all year long. So this gentleman, as nice as he appears to be, didn't know for this entire year what the Part B deductible was. Is it going to change for 2020? Yep, already did a video about that. I don't know when he's going to find out that it's you know changing for 2020. He still thinks it's 183 for crying out loud. Okay, That's moving why we have on. Joining us, a local financial advisor. So financial Tony advisor. Drake and Associates. Is going to in the various supplement plans, they're the alphabet soup. So there's plan A, plan B, plan D that you can all enroll in to help supplement those costs. This is a financial advisor trying to talk about the world of Medicare. Now, we consult with a lot of financial advisors that actually do managed money. They do annuities. They do long-term care as their primary focus. And they manage people's stock portfolios and the, and the like. They refer people to me because we know Medicare, and that's what we focus on is helping people with Medicare. This poor gentleman just said that people buy parts of Medicare that are plan A, what are you saying? And D that you can all enroll in to help you with their, the alphabet soup. So there's plan A, plan B, plan D that you can all enroll in. No, nobody gets plan A, plan B. He's talking about part A of Medicare, which you don't enroll in, that's automatic. Part B that you sign up for and Part D, the drug plan. They're not plans, they're parts. And so that's a common misconception with somebody who has absolutely no idea what they're talking about with Medicare. Can't fault him for that, but I certainly wouldn't look to him for Medicare expertise or put him on the news talking about Medicare. This Tuesday, this Tuesday October 15th, mm -hmm. it does run all the way to December 7th. And that is the time slot allotted for those individuals to make changes to their Medicare benefits for the upcoming year. Well, thank you so much. Yep, if Medicare Advantage is the only thing that you know, it's the only thing that you can get, then that's the time frame but he has no idea about supplements. Obviously, he's proven that. All right, everybody, we're gonna change gears this morning. We're changing if gears. If you're new to the Medicare scene and you need some help, there are resources available here in Western New York, starting with the Clarity Group. The Clarity Group is sponsoring this program, these sweet ladies. And Vice President Karen Olson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Of course, first time on AM Buffalo. This is very exciting. And they have some great information for you at home. The open enrollment period began just two days ago. Correct. This can be a hectic time, right? So let's talk about how you can help Western New Yorkers, maybe starting with a consultation. That's right. So we, we offer um, complimentary consultations. We'll review uh, Medicare eligible consumers' a list of doctors, their drugs, their plan that they currently have, and we'll research the plans in our area. We offer multiple carriers and we'll help them find a plan that's a good fit for them. Do you? Let me just ask you this question for those who've been paying attention because there's a quiz coming up. If you have to provide to your agent a list of your doctors, what kind of plan are they looking for for you? Dun, dun, dun. What kind of plan restricts and limits and has to match up your, your list of doctors? <gasps> I know there's only one plan that does that. That'd be the Medicare Advantage plan. But look, how can you not trust these people with your health care? because watch, watch they've got the creme de la creme here you. here it comes wait for it number it's three nine three three four three seven and when you call the number you'll be wait prompted to press one for transit two for mckinley mm -hmm. and three for boulevard and you'll be in touch with uh, a local agent <gasps> so um, you don't get a recording um, you'll be you have to call a number press a certain number and then you'll be connected with the person you won't get a recording but they've got a dog They've got a dog. We saw in our last video about Medicare Advantage plans. Medicare Advantage plans give you the happiest, friendliest dogs you could possibly have. Pep is here. They're here for you. Pep offers a wide variety of Medicare options. Oh, here we go. That dog had a halo, I think. So they've got a dog. You've got to go with these people. Bless their hearts. Oh, my goodness. And then lastly, this week in the news about Medicare, poor, poor Elizabeth Warren was, come, was, was held to task on her Medicare for All proposal which it seems that everyone under 65 thinks is a great idea. They think if they can just skip 65 years of working 
and saving and getting ready and earning, not an entitlement, the benefit that they've earned, which is Medicare. Let's just skip all that. In my case, let's skip 20 years. Give me that Medicare right now. I think that's a great idea. I don't know who's going to pay for it. And apparently Elizabeth doesn't either. To the latest Democratic showdown, the fourth presidential debate, and it was clear. Elizabeth Warren. Will taxes go up? Will you raise taxes on the middle class for pay, to pay for it, yes or no? So I have made clear what my principles are here, and that is costs will go up for the wealthy and for big corporations and for hardworking middle class families, costs will go down. A yes or no question that didn't get a yes or no answer. But this is why people here in the Midwest are so frustrated with Washington. At least Bernie's being honest here and saying how he's going to pay for this and that taxes are going to go up. And I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but you have not said that. And I think we owe it to the American people to tell them where we're going to send the invoice. The problem we've got right now is the overall cost of health care. And look, you can try to spend this any way you want. I've spent my entire life. I'm, I'm working on how America's middle class has been hollowed out and how we fight back. Senator Klobuchar, do you want to respond? Uh, yes, I do. And I appreciate Elizabeth's work. But again, um, the difference between a plan and a pipe dream is something that you can actually get done. There you go. The difference between a plan and a pipe dream is what you can actually be done. So at Medicare for all, for those that are supporting it, we just don't know where to send the bill for the $30 trillion. That's all. So again, I'll ask you, who do you get your news from? I think you should subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for the notifications. And if you like this video at all, or any of my videos, please click the like button and maybe leave a comment below with what you thought. I'd appreciate it. As you're considering who to get your news from, do they represent one company? I know in my office, we have over 30 carriers across the country that we, oh, it's more than that now because we have the Medicare Advantage companies, the Part D companies, Medicare supplement companies, life insurance companies, annuity companies, long-term care companies. We have a lot and we do not represent just one company or push one company because of an incentive or a sales program or bonus or anything like that nonsense. Do they only show you Medicare Advantage plans? Yes, there's a financial incentive to do so. If they're just pushing you toward a network plan and saying, oh, but you get free dental. Why don't you look at the small print and see what free dental really is? Do they give you the fear of missing out? The fear that you have to do this right now, right this minute, sign this piece of paper, especially if this, oh, it's not gonna cost you anything. It's amazing. The fear of missing out. You know, one thing that I learned when I grew up and went to a, a private Christian school in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, and we were, you know, drilled in scripture all day long. And sometimes when life throws things at you, one of the things that just comes back from either brainwashing or uh, education or indoctrination, I don't know which, the thing that this reminds me of is uh, the scripture that says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And what this means to me is if someone is using fear, the fear that you've got to get this done, the fear that you've got to change, the fear that something's going to go away or something's not going to be there anymore, or you have to act now, that should be a check in your spirit that lets you know something is not right. Get a second opinion, talk to somebody who's unbiased, have someone else look over your plan just to make sure everything's good. But I want to let you know there's no reason, no reason for you to panic during this period of time. I don't want any of my clients to panic because I know they're in a good place. I already know they are. I don't want you to panic if your agent, you can't get them on the phone right now. It's probably because they're overwhelmed with people calling them too. And so if you would, during the annual enrollment period, have some patience with us. In a couple of weeks past the first week, it always starts to taper down. In November, it's very, very manageable. And even if you're doing a transition from Medicare Advantage back to original Medicare, you've got the entire period to make that decision. Then you've got another period that starts in January, the disenrollment period for Medicare Advantage for those people who have second thoughts about it again, that maybe signed up for one. But you have another opportunity to get off of Medicare Advantage January through March 31st. So there's no critical time frame that you have to have something done right now. 
If you're going to go from a Medicare supplement to another Medicare supplement, we don't have to do that immediately. There's no critical time because your original one, even if you didn't get approved, you've got great health insurance if you've got a Medicare supplement plan right now. So let your heart not be troubled. If you've got insurance, I'm sure it's going to be fine or it's good enough for right now until we can look at getting you into another plan. In my office, we've been doing triage. Those people who are turning 65 need a plan right now, maybe waited till the last minute. We have to do that first. The people who are looking at January 1 for all of their changes and their effective date, we can move those into an appropriate time. It doesn't mean that if you called us and it went to an overflow or you sent us a message and we hadn't responded yet, that we're ignoring you and you should call someone else. It doesn't mean that at all. It means that we've prioritized it and my team will be reaching back out to you. For those people who are existing clients, please watch your email, listen to your voicemail. We're gonna give you a voicemail drop too and send you to a special web page with a special briefing about 2020, what it, what it means to you, what some opportunities and some things are that you should look for in 2020. But as always, I plan on keeping the public and my clients especially tuned into what's going on with the world of Medicare. It's what I eat and breathe and watch and study every single minute of every day. Got to focus more on balance, I know that. But thank you so much for watching. And again, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps me and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't like it at all, give me a thumbs down. Either way, the interactiv interactivity uh, is, is happy for YouTube. They just love that stuff. So please let me know what you thought. I really appreciate your feedback. Have a great day. My goal is to educate and help people. God bless you and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Plan seems to be a plan. So to be clear, if people are already on Medicare, they have the option of going into a new plan. That's right. Okay, so um, if you're a first-time Medicare enrollee specifically, I know it, this can become a bit confusing because it seems there's more and more Medicare options. So